need more land for the herd. George, all those years of looking forward to a cosy retirement. Careful, Edward. You know, Simon here, he's got a sheep farm, and they could do with the extra income. Mm. Tell me, Simon, do you like all animals or just sheep? Uh, I like all of them. How big is your farm? Seventy acres. Well, well, George here wants to expand the herd of alpacas. South American. Like llamas, only smaller. <laughs> oh, just give him a job. Seems simple enough to me. I mean, would you like that? I mean, helping out with the alpacas while George here uh, handles the business side of things. Yeah, I'd like that. That's a job I can do. Oh, good, good. Excellent. You know, you're right, George. If I'm to give up travelling, there is plenty for me to do in the local community. After all, God help us. <sighs> Mary's going to be all right, Malcolm. And you have a baby daughter. I, I, I don't understand. You, you... We thought that we'd lost her, but um, after the baby was delivered, we found that she was able to breathe again. So. Um be able to see her shortly. A beautiful girl, Mr. Watts. I'm sorry you can't hold her yet. She's to go straight to the baby unit, but she's going to be fine. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. All of you. We need to go. Jack, where the hell are the men from the DHE? You know what those pen pushes are like, still filling in forms in triplicate properly. But we're going to have to close down, and you said they were going to come and fix this thing. It's fixed, Mr. Carnegie. What is that contraption? A mate of mine had one going spare. He's refitting his trawler. A ship's boiler? I've never heard such a ridiculous idea in my life, Jack. No, nor me. Not first. Fingers, though. It works. What, you mean that thing's actually providing hot water? We'd better go and find out. Dad, uh, how's Mum? Well, she's she's had to have an operation, but she's going to be all right. And the best news is you've got a little baby sister. Sir Edward says he can give us some work. What do you mean? Uh, Mr. Watts, I, I should explain. Uh, my wife, she breeds alpacas. I need some land uh, to expand the breeding stock. Edward will pay handsome. Well, I mean, better than sheep, anyway. <laughs> We've taken the shine to the boy. He knows his onions. Well, I, I don't know what to say. Uh, we should talk about it later. You've got a lot on your mind at the moment. Go tell Mum. Good afternoon, Sir Edward. I trust you're feeling well. The condemned man ate a hearty breakfast. No, he didn't. They wouldn't let me. <laughs> no second thoughts, then? No. He's not allowed them anymore, are you, darling? Excellent. Take him down. I'm oh, so scared. Dr. Slim, baby's fine. Oh, she's beautiful. I'm, I'm so sorry, Mary Love. What for? Everything. Just about everything I've done since I've been working. It's okay. It's okay. Jack has attempted to solve our crisis for the last 24 hours by installing a piece of scrap metal from a ship in the basement. So the DHA... ...have done nothing. This is really not good enough, Jack. The DHA were going to take weeks. We'd have closed down. But it appears we will anyway, having wasted a full day. <laughs> On the other hand, what you've done could be seen as an excellent use of your initiative. Congratulations. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. What is it? I've got you a job. Will you take me out 
tonight? I beg your pardon? You think you're too old? Fear not. Is it possible? Someone call the police. Oh, yes, you call the police! 